Hi everyone, my name is Jenny and I'm back today to do another video. Today I'm going to be doing a short review of Liberty by Caitlin Greenidge. This is an advanced copy that I received through NetGalley in exchange for this video review and is coming out this coming Tuesday, March 30th from Algonquin Books. Liberty is Caitlin Greenidge's sophomore novel, her debut novel, We Love You, Charlie Freeman, came out in 2017. So in Liberty, we follow our titular main character, who was born as a free person in New York shortly before the Civil War, and we follow her as she grows up through the Reconstruction era. Liberty's mother is actually based on a real person by the name of Susan Smith McKinney Stewart, who was the first black woman to be accepted to a medical school in New York in the 1870s here in the United States and she went on to become the first black woman doctor in the state of New York. So because of Liberty's exceptional mother who is a fictionalized version of this first woman to become a black female doctor, Liberty is under a lot of pressure from her mother to join the medical field and go to school for medicine and her mother actually during the novel sends her away to medical school in Ohio. So throughout the novel we are following Liberty as she's kind of coming into her own and determining what she truly wants out of life and whether or not that is medical practice or a life that's a bit less kind of exceptional than her mother hopes her to be. So starting off with the things that I most enjoyed about this novel, I think the biggest thing for me was Caitlin Green just use of the historical record in developing and creating this sense of the Reconstruction era. Greenidge actually worked as an oral historian which is how she first learned of McKinney Stewart's story and that was where she found the inspiration to later write this novel and so you can really tell her background in history and her interest in history as it shines through the level of detail that's put into this novel and I would say that's also true of other descriptions in this work and not necessarily just the time and place. There's very much an attention to detail throughout the rest of the writing style as well which I really appreciated. Alongside the historical detail, there's also a lot of discussion around Haitian voodoo and the gods that are inspired by traditional West African mythology as Liberty meets and later marries an American-born Haitian doctor who comes to study under Liberty's mother and the two of them kind of form a romance when Liberty is home from her medical schooling and he's really knowledgeable and interested about Haitian voodoo and he kind of relays that information to Liberty. I will say my one critique about that is that I wish it had been more cohesively incorporated into the novel as I felt like that was a really interesting aspect of the story that came up at different points throughout the story but didn't quite feel as cohesive as some of the other elements did. Finally, Greenish touches on a lot of really fascinating and I think thought-provoking themes surrounding race and racial politics during this time, particularly the juxtaposition between the racial politics of Haiti, which at that point was an independent country that was a former colony and had a revolution, versus the United States, which had just had the Civil War, but there was still a lot of kind of racial reckoning to come, obviously. There's also some discussion in this novel about Liberia and the creation of Liberia and Liberia's purpose, and there's a lot of discussions between different characters on their differing viewpoints of kind of what is the best way to move forward in terms of black liberation and freedom and what those words mean kind of in the context of your personal life, which I really appreciated. I thought those themes were done really well and were definitely, I think, the strongest point of the novel for me. However, despite the thematic explorations and the attention to detail in the writing, there were some things in the novel that didn't work quite as well for me, which I also wanted to kind of mention in this review. So the first of those is actually that I really didn't like our main character, Liberty. I feel like we never had, as the reader, a strong grasp on what her needs or wants really were. I think in large part throughout the novel she's really put in juxtaposition to her mother who obviously is very ambitious, very into kind of creating herself as an exceptional person and I think there's some interesting discussion here too about the kind of prevailing dominant theories that I remember reading about in Stamp from the Beginning by Eva Max Kendi of kind of the W.E.B. Du Bois versus Booker T. Washington black exceptionalism versus kind of living more normal lives within the context of America and that kind of discussion around racial politics is kind of present in a micro sense between Liberty's mother and Liberty but I also just found Liberty to be a character that seemed a little too aimless and un- motivated by anything. She didn't really have anything she was striving towards, she just didn't really want to be a doctor, which I didn't quite feel like was enough to like warrant a whole 
book about this particular person which is interesting to me because I do often like reading particularly in like the millennial fiction subgenre of these very kind of aimless lost characters and kind of coming into your own I feel like when that's done intentionally that can be a really interesting discussion however I felt like we were meant to empathize with Liberty and kind of see her lack of ambition as a juxtaposition to her mother's overly ambitious personality but I don't know I mean maybe it's just because I also have an ambitious personality and I'm very much kind of a goal-oriented person that I found it really difficult to connect with Liberty as a character. I also struggled quite a bit with the pacing of this novel for the first half in particular but throughout the entire novel it reads very slowly. There's not a whole lot that happens but at the same time there are a fair number of plot points and I do feel like those particular plot points that are most interesting kind of get glossed over or sped through which felt odd to me given that we spent so much time in parts of the book that were otherwise not really adding anything to the plot or the development of kind of the greater sense of like liberty as a character and so I was confused about the kind of pacing of the novel as a whole. One example of this was that at around the 50% mark of the novel Liberty meets Emmanuel who is the American born Haitian doctor who she later marries and the two of them meet and marry and move to Haiti over the course of maybe 15 to 20 pages. I was as you can see reading this on my Kindle so I don't know exactly the page count but it felt very quick in terms of their meeting and developing a relationship and part of the reason that that was kind of rushed is in relation to Liberty's relationship with her mother that kind of gets discussed but even then it just felt really rushed and I didn't feel like I got a great sense of why they were at all attracted to one another and then suddenly they were married and living in Haiti so those types of kind of more seminal points in the novel I felt like really got rushed through to get to then the more very slow not anything happening parts of the novel where we would then spend 20 plus percent of the book. So the pacing also was something that I struggled with and I found kind of took away from my experience of the novel. So all in all I only ended up giving this novel three stars. However I do think that there is a reader that would enjoy this novel more than I did, particularly if you were a fan of Pachinko which I read last year and also gave three 3.5 stars which I found to be really deep and rich in terms of the historical analysis and building up the historical time period and kind of what that was like I found to be done really well in Pachinko. However I personally felt like Pachinko suffered a bit in terms of character development and plotting and I felt very similarly about Liberty. I think if you are a fan of reading about historical time periods getting immersed in historical details which I usually am but I also need some sort of strong independent character or a plot that is intriguing in some way and I just felt like Liberty was a little too focused on the historical analysis and setting the time and also just exploring themes surrounding Liberty that I didn't find quite as engaging. I also do wish the kind of themes of black liberation and freedom had been a bit more emphasized as I feel like they came up in certain parts throughout the novel but by the end that was not at least in my eyes something that was as kind of cohesive as I really expected it to be. So yeah overall I thought this was a fine read. I'm glad I read it and I definitely do think other people will enjoy it but unfortunately it just was not a new favorite for me. So that's gonna wrap up this review. Do let me know down in the comment section below if you have read Liberty or interested in reading it. Particularly any of the things that I kind of mentioned as critiques I'd love to hear other people's thoughts on that as I know like with Pachinko for example that I was kind of in the minority in terms of people and their thoughts surrounding Pachinko so I'd be curious if other people have very different ideas about Liberty and its thematic explorations and character development. If you are new to my channel through this video I'd love to have you stick around and subscribe and I will talk to you next time.